Okay, maybe as a nurse, you have heard people refer to AFib with RVR and you pretend you know what it means, but you don't really know what it means. Don't worry, I'm about to tell you. AFib with RVR stands for atrial fibrillation with rapid ventricular response. And I'm gonna tell you what that means. All right, normally your heart will have this electrical conduction, right? An impulse starts in the SA node, it goes down to the AV node. Oh, sorry, when it starts in the SA node, that tells your atria, these bad boys, to contract. It says, okay, atria, contract. And that's when you see a P wave on the EKG. Then that electrical impulse goes to the AV node. And the AV node says, hey, ventricles, it is your turn to contract. So it sends an electrical impulse down the septum and uh, into the heart muscle. So the bundle of his and the perjuncti fibers um, here on this. So it goes from like right around here, goes down here and up here. And that's what tells the ventricles to contract. And that's when you see the P, excuse me, when you see the QRS on your EKG. AFib means that there's, instead of this normal contraction from here to here, and then down here, what happens is we have all these electrical, wait, let me, weird electrical impulses going off here that's causing the atria to quiver. So instead of having a smooth, good atrial contraction, this is quivering, okay? Quivering up here. But the AV node is very smart. This AV node says, hold up. I'm not letting all those electrical impulses go all the way down to my ventricles and have some crazy response because then I'm not going to be able to have maintain good cardiac output and get blood to the body. So the AV node says, all right, I'm only going to let some impulses through. So it kind of is like this gatekeeper and says, all right, just, just some of y'all can come through and cause this to contract. That's why with AFib, you see the da -da 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 on the uh, EKG followed by a normal PQR or normal QRS because the ventricles are doing that good contraction. But with AFib, with rapid ventricular response, that AV node isn't, isn't doing as good of a job filtering, okay? And what happens is it's letting too many impulses through and it's making these ventricles contract too quickly, okay? Too many impulses coming through our AV node and making these bad boys contract too quickly rapid ventricular response. Make sense? So what happens is then you have bad cardiac output because you don't have enough time to fill up the ventricle to squeeze the blood to push out. And what you'll see is lower blood pressure, lower cardiac output, and they can't sustain this for that long. I hope that helps that process make sense. If you want a full little email course on how to handle it practically at the bedside, there's a link in my bio.